Hello there and welcome back to another Mr Carter Science Special. In this video we'll be looking at a brief summary of the chemical reaction photosynthesis. This comes as part of the syllabus from um, Biology 2C for the Edexcel International GCSE specifications. As always, keep your eyes open for the specifications and curriculum links so that you can follow where you are on the course. So, plants make their own food by photosynthesis, but what is photosynthesis? Well, this is a process, is a chemical reaction that uses light energy. And the Greek, the word photosynthesis comes from the Greek language. Photo meaning light and synthesis meaning to make. So photosynthesis means to make something using light energy. So what is the definition of photosynthesis? Well, photosynthesis is a chemical reaction that occurs in green plant cells. Energy from sunlight is used to make carbon dioxide and water join together and form glucose and oxygen. This chemical reaction occurs on a molecule called chlorophyll. The chlorophyll is actually the molecule that absorbs the sunlight and is able then to utilize that sunlight to join the water and the energy to get to join the water and the carbon dioxide together and reform those molecules as glucose. And oxygen is actually a waste gas which is released. Yes, some of the plant cells will want to use oxygen in respiration, but plants don't move a great deal, so their respirational needs are very, very small. So that means the majority of the oxygen is lost as a waste gas, which is a great thing for us because, of course, we as animals can use that then for our respiratory needs. So what about the actual gases then? How do they get in? How does water get into a plant? How does carbon dioxide get in? Well, carbon di dioxide enters the plant through tiny little holes in the bottom of the leaf called stomata. Water is absorbed through the roots and then it's transported up through a set of tubes called xylem and those tubes go all the way into the leaf structure itself. So at the top here we've got a brief summary of the word equation because of course this is a chemical reaction therefore it must follow um, that it has an equation. But let's find out how good you are. Pause the video at this point. Can you write down the word equation and can you write down the balanced symbol equation for photosynthesis. So let's start first with the word equation. The word equation is carbon dioxide plus water gives glucose plus oxygen. All these words that I've written in black here, these are the word equation. These are the, at the beginning, the reactants, and at the end, the products that are made. If you were asked in an exam to state the word equation, it's only the words in black that you need here. Carbon dioxide plus water gives glucose plus oxygen. These two in the middle are extras. It is common that you will write down the energy source, which is light. Whether it's sunlight or light from an artificial lamp, often you will write down the energy source. But of course, energy is not a chemical, so it's not included in the word equation in the reactants or the products. The other thing that you often write down is the molecule where this chemical reaction takes place. It takes place in the chlorophyll molecule and that's found inside the chloroplasts of green plant cells. So things like palisade cells and spongy mesophyll cells in the leaf, they contain the chlorophyll that absorbs the light energy so they can carry out this chemical reaction. You will often though be asked to write down the symbol equation and you should know most of these symbols already co2 for carbon dioxide h2o for water and o2 for oxygen glucose may be a little bit tricky you're just going to have to try and learn to memorize this c6 h12 o6 if you say it four or five times write it down a few times hopefully that'll stay in your brain c6 h12 o6 but of course, that's not balanced. Now, the quickest way to remember to balance this, I won't go through how we balance equations, I'll save that for another video, but we can remember in biology that we only have 
two equations we need to balance. We need to balance the respiration equation and the photosynthesis equation, and they're both balanced the same way. We simply add a six, a large six, in front of each of the molecules except chlorophyll, uh, sorry, except glucose. So the balanced symbol equation is six CO2 plus six H2O gives C6H12O6 plus 6O2. 666. So, pause the video again. We've got five questions here for you to try out, and we'll go through the answers in a moment. So, what is photosynthesis? Well, photosynthesis is a chemical reaction. that occurs in green plant cells. Why is light energy needed for photosynthesis? Well, the light energy is used to join carbon dioxide and water together to produce glucose and oxygen. How does carbon dioxide and water um, reach the cells where the photosynthesis occurs? Well, carbon dioxide enters through the stomata in the leaf and the water enters through the root and travels up through the stem of the plant through the tissue known as the xylem tissue. State the word equation for photosynthesis, really simple. We start with carbon dioxide. I'm not taking any shortcuts here because the question tells me to write the word equation. If I write symbols here, it would be wrong. So carbon dioxide plus water gives glucose plus oxygen. I write the balanced symbol equation for photosynthesis. Well, let's write the symbol equation first. CO2 plus H2O gives you C6H12O6 plus O2. To balance it, we would need to add 6, 6, 6. 666. Um, six carbon dioxide molecules plus six H2O molecules gives you one molecule of glucose plus six molecules of oxygen. I hope you've enjoyed this short video summarizing photosynthesis. If you have, please like and subscribe so that you will get the very first notification of the next videos to come from Mr. Carter's science specials. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.